this movement throughout the this human experience the challenges you've experienced the difficulties that you think you've experienced all of these things that you think you're doing and we go back to hearing more about the robotic aspect now again you have people that will take offense at what i'm saying and why do they do that because they think i'm talking about who they really are i am not talking about the mag the, the the expansiveness of who you are i'm talking about the this particular experience this mechanism this system that we that we are participating in this virtual human experience and these bodies are avatars um and how they operate and why they're so robotic why they're so automated and why your um your you become you're so easily programmed um which we've talked about why it's so easy to navigate human beings that is that part of them and that part of us have become uh for us anyway the more uh, very prominent um aspect of who we are so who's aging who's dying who's you know that's the question and this is why to me to see what we're speaking of here um and how it relates to the human experience becomes super important uh one other thing i probably uh should have also inserted or should have also um said is the fact that we've talked about the only way that this experience can be occurring is because we are replicating we are modeling off of a, a system a, another system of a formula something else another structure and um that exists beyond this one we simply copy just like we're making robots now or and I don't even hear the word androids anymore but artificial intelligence just like you can see how we're incorporating that how we are aiming to do these things while you can only be doing them if you are trying to copy something else or you're copying what 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 was created here and so in a way the robot is trying to copy make another robot which that's what they're going to be doing anyway that's what they're doing now is um that kind of robotic or 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 artificial intelligence is going to create more of itself is able to create more of itself is able to replicate um what do we do we replicate we have babies we make more of ourselves we copy ourselves um it's just all in how we we look at it and again i find that it is a game changer when we can see the science more when we can see this you don't even have to you don't have to know scientific terms or any of that you just have to see what what i'm talking about you have to see what this is in order to what we term call free ourselves in order to move beyond this space if we don't then we just get continuously ushered into other levels of the same sort of management the same kind of um experience because ownership is totally invested in is totally held in uh artificial intelligence in um in this more limiting experience uh what we you know what we identify ourselves as what spirituality is um what the idea of god is it it will hold us bound in a realm of belief system whether we are shifting or changing or you know different kinds of evolutions that can happen within the system or structure it is an incredibly uh, amazing it's a, just the design is just incredible um and the design is not necessarily a finite design either it is however 
an, a system, an intelligent system, a system of intelligence that um, look pretty much like the holodeck that will spin off or produce um, realities that are that appear to be evolutionary, but based on where that being is based on whether it be the collect collective awareness collective consciousness system based on where that awareness is okay let's use the word awareness based on awareness it it can do that so it's a bendable system it is a um it is again not a finite system um so it can um it it can shift and change to accommodate the level of awareness and give us you know reality perspectives and scenarios and experiences based on awareness so it may seem like there are there is evolution there is a certain level of evolution sure but is it a structured evolution you know is it a um a you know limiting evolution is it limited is it you know obviously still just within the confines of that particular uh, system that was designed for the human experience with flexibility within it for um, human awareness you know um, according to a certain certain level of human awareness and i know we talked about this too at the uh retreat the first retreat we did when i think it was the first retreat we did when we were talking about that there is a level i think i said there was a level of a level um that that's identifiable as far as a frequency and it's like when when our awareness then i guess i would say um moves into a certain field then which is what we're measuring right a certain field of awareness which is which which is measurable frequency wise when it when it moves into that field then you're moving outside of the field of this virtual human experience that is within its own self it's like a world within its own self that's expandable and that includes even the very idea of the cosmos it's all within that um format that that structure so i hope that makes sense so far and of course we'll talk about that because the whole fact is for much of this to make sense um and to uh open up that part of our brains that <laughs> that will allow then for that kind of information the grander information to be um to be presented for you know for us to be able to see